to my YouTube channel. I'm bringing you Wakanda vibes today. <laughs> oh my god, that's so stupid. Um, for two reasons. One, it's hot as hell in Cape Town today. I can't be asked to make a wig work, so I just sort of bundled everything up together and added some hoops. Um, let's address our little friend visiting us today as well. Say hey! Hey! But secondly is, if I appear a bit mellow today, it's because I am in pain. So, stupidly enough, yesterday I tripped up some stairs. Yes, tripped up. So, I was running up a flight of stairs, I tripped, and I basically removed the skin under my foot. So, the skin under my left foot basically scraped off. And I had to be rushed to the hospital. I got six stitches in my left big toe alone five injections in my left big toe and six stitches so I'm on pain meds and I have a window period of about like two three hours to do this video while the pain is sort of subsided so that's the mood we're in I'm sipping on some water and I added some Berries, strawberries, and all that jazz inside here with some ice. So, we're staying hydrated, we're staying hydrated, we're staying positive, and we're gonna have a good video. So, why I'm excited about this video? One, it's a first impression. So, I went onto my Twitter and onto my Instagram, and I asked you guys what you wanna see first a first impressions, a full face of first impressions, or, um, that tag, that tag, that makeup tag where you mix all your foundations together and there was a resounding vote for a full face of first impressions basically piggybacking off the video I did last Thursday on my PR unboxing so we're basically trying a whole lot of products that we received over the last couple of months in this video today I have really made sure to use everything brand new except for a couple of things which I don't have extra of so um but i'll talk about those either way because i have only started using those things like in the last few months as well so but it won't be the first time using them on my channel i've cleansed my face and i'm gonna moisturize with this this is the new glam glow water burst hydrated glow moisturizer you guys know i'm more of a fan of moisturizers as opposed to primers so um i want to hydrate with this so it's literally blue and all glam glow products smell like candy. I'm not fond of the smell. And you're just gonna moisturize. So it literally feels like water on your skin. And a lot of brands are coming out with these sort of water-based um, um, moisturizers. Not even just like it has hyaluronic acid. I mean, it literally, once you start massaging it into the skin, it literally feels like water like it's that light and fluidy in its texture so um i've seen Dermalogica do that um i was going to use the one from urban decay urban decay also has one like that but i think i'll save that for another video um so i don't know like if it's a trend i mean hyaluronic acid has been a very trendy ingredient for a couple of years now um so i think they feel like they're taking it a step further and as opposed to having like a thick cream that is has hyaluronic acid as an ingredient i think they're like literally want you to feel like you're putting water on your face we're gonna move on to primer so like i said i'm not the biggest fan of primers but i do like ones that give your skin like a glow if it's like a glowy-esque primer i don't like like silicone based anything so i like sort of just like your glowy sort of like um moisturizers that set to add like some iridescence to the skin and so today i'm reaching for the clarence sos primer this is also new and this is the minimize it minimizes signs of fatigue i love that it has a pump so we're gonna go ahead and just do one pump of that i'm glow product was really hydrating very hydrating i love that this has like a pink sheen to it so pretty I love anything with a glow and this also smells really pretty it's not overwhelming um, and oh 
yeah I really love that okay so for foundation today I'm trying the new Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation and I touched on this briefly in the video last week um, and I went to two events for this so I went to an event last year where they literally didn't have like the packaging for this they had the packaging but it still had like sample stickers and stuff on it so really we're like testing it out like first hand and just seeing what the product is about i'm the shade 4.1 so i had asked them okay like is this okay for oily skin how's it going to perform on like oily skin because if you do have oily skin or combination skin we tend to really shy away from stick foundations um I don't believe it's an oil-free formula. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot to do something. I forgot to do something. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Iconic Primer Stick. This I got last year sometime, end of last year. And it's a primer stick that helps with oil control. So apply to forehead, cheeks, nose, and chin, bend the fingertips, wear a load, or under makeup. Um, makeup makes makeup look and wear better creates a smooth even canvas for makeup keeps you flawless on the go it eliminates shine for 12 hours so I was apprehensive because one like it seems like it would be a waxy balmy texture and anything waxy or balmy I'm just like I don't know how this is gonna work on combination skin but they say that you can use this to, to control shine so as someone who's combination skin I'm gonna apply this on my t-zone because the foundation we're using today is a stick foundation and it's not oil free um, I think this will be perfect and I want a couple smashbox with smashbox at the same time so oh wow that really keeps that matte so I'm just applying this on my teaser so that's been applied so we're gonna see how this glides on I just applied it to my teaser and apparently you can use that after makeup as well I have the Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation and we're gonna go in with the shade 4.1 like I said and so I'm gonna apply this Guys, I love trying new foundation. It's very creamy. Um, and I think it's meant to look like skin as well. So I'm going in with my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Blurring Brush because I like to buff my foundations in. So it definitely feels lightweight. A lot of stick foundations often feel very creamy and... Um, you can feel that that um, product on the skin but it definitely um, feels lightweight and coverage wise it seems to be um, light to medium coverage although it is doing a good job of hiding the majority of my blemishes or uh, acne I mean chicken pox scarring so honestly doing good so smooth my skin looks super smooth bring this down so we're just gonna do one layer of foundation today but I really like the way that's looking so this is me with the shaping stick foundation now I'm gonna use the contour side it's called the soft contour which is this side here I'm gonna go ahead and contour my cheeks I love that I love that it's not too harsh then I'm gonna go in with my concealer and conceal taking a damp beauty uh, real techniques complexion sponge and I'm just gonna blend this out when you use your beauty blender damp it definitely makes your makeup look a lot more natural 
Okay, now I'm going to blend out the Smashbox contour. And I'm using this new brush from MAC. This is the MAC 141S. And this is a, um, a round contour brush. I don't know how to say that. It's quite densely packed together. So I'm using this for my cream contour. And we're just going to buff that in to the skin. all around the face I love how this is just blending it out so effortlessly and I'm really loving the shade of the contour as well I'm gonna go back in with my Real Techniques complexion sponge and just sort of blend everything together I'm going to set my concealed areas with the Sasha Buttercup powder. I've been using this for a couple of months now and I have to say I love it. So my Laura Mercier finished and um, I didn't want to, you know, um, get it again locally just because the price is marked up so much. Uh, so I thought I would try it, uh, something new. And I'm up with the Sasha Buttercup powder and I have to say I have been really loving it It gives your skin a very caramel finish, which I really really love But it also leaves your skin very very matte So I really have been enjoying using this powder and um, I got mine from semika.co.za, which is an online shop that stocks a whole lot of international brands as well, like NARS, Too Faced, KKW, everything. Zoeva, Morphe, everything. And I love your website as well because it's so easy to navigate and it's really professionally done, which I can appreciate. Some of the Insta Boutique websites are definitely not like up to par with a lot of the international websites, but I really like Semika. I feel like I'm appearing very, very dark. I don't know if it's the foundation or if it's the contour shade. So I'm going a bit extra with the Sasha Buttercup. I'm going to set the rest of my face with my MAC Studio Fix Powder. Then I'm going to go ahead and bronze with the MAC uh, Sun Power Mineralized Skin Finish. I picked this up a couple of, like a last month sometime. And I just wanted like a very subtle but um, effective bronzer. Because I'm not really like a blush girl. Um, I just wanted something to like warm up my face on days when I don't do the whole cream contour bit. And that's why I picked up this um, uh, brand here. We're gonna go ahead and dust away the excess uh, Sasha Buttercup powder. We're gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow work. I don't have a new eyeshadow palette with me, so I'm just going in with the Smashbox Ablaze Eye Palette. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick eye. It's such an incredibly beautiful palette, and I feel like a lot of people love it. It's got beautiful warm shades. So I'm just gonna go in with the shade called Nirvana. No, I'm lying. It's called it's called throwback. It's like a burnt orange. And I'm just gonna apply this to my uh just above my crease and on my crease just to create some dimension. We're gonna do the same on this side. I haven't played with eyeshadows in such a long time. And this uh, eyeshadow palette is very, very pigmented. I'm sure I've featured a lot on my channel before. It's not really new, it's been around for like just over a year. I'm gonna use this color here in this like shimmery orange. It's called Torch. And I'm taking a large fluffy brush and I'm just gonna pat this onto my lid. Just very lightly. This palette is so pigmented, you guys. That such a little goes a long way, especially if you're looking for a very effortless look. You don't have to try hard at all. And it's literally two eyeshadow colors and you're done. I'm going to do my signature waterline and just line my waterline with a nude pencil.
I'm gonna go back in with the palette and just um, add some color to my bottom lashes. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the new Benefit Bang or Bad Girl Bang Mascara. And um, this is the new mascara that they did a whole press thing for. So I'm really excited about it. Uh, this is the packaging. I believe the mascara isn't itself new to Benefit, but I think if they've reformulated it and all that jazz. The mascara, the wand is quite flexible, which I can appreciate. I just wonder if it's durable. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Okay, so my lashes are so non-existent. I don't know if you can see this, but what I'm seeing from where I'm sat. <sighs> wow. I'm shook. <laughs> I'm shook. What? I really love the skinniness of the bristles so I'm gonna go ahead and use this on my bottom lashes as well oh my gosh you guys this is so pretty okay I'm gonna go ahead and prick my false lashes I have been using these lashes from my hairdresser so she does obviously hair i get all my wigs laid there colored there um and so she was like i want you to try some of the, some of the lashes i have so i was like oh we sell lashes okay so she was like come through come through i've been using these ones here these are the ones i've been getting a lot of questions about in the over the last few instagram posts in my last two videos i think i used these lashes and these would be the lashes are from called stylist ethnique that is my hairdresser so obviously she doesn't sell them online it's based the hair salon is in Cape Town, so if you're in Cape Town, you can go and check her out. But today, I'm going to use these ones. These ones I've been so scared to try. They are very full on, they are very dramatic, but they are also spaced out in between each like hair, and they appear um, to be really beautiful, but they are very extra. So I was scared of those ones, the first ones initially. When I put them on, I was like, whoa. So maybe I'll have the same reaction with these. We'll see. As always, I'm going in with the Duo Lash Glue, which is clear. It's a, it's a white glue. It dries clear. So while those are getting tacky, I'm going to go ahead and highlight. And I'm using the new MAC Hyper Real Glow. This arrived um, on my desk last week, Friday. So... Um, yeah, this is the Hyper Real Glow. This just seems to be a um, highlighting palette and it's all just highlighting shades here. All just bomb ass shades. So, I wonder if you can see that. So, I think I'm going to go in with the last one which is Rosy Cheer. And I'm using my um, highlighting brush from Inglot. It's a domed brush. And this is really pretty. I'm gonna go on the tip of my nose. In the valley of my nose. Keep this bow. I forgot to bring in a corner brush but I'm gonna use this Real Techniques one to add some shimmer so yeah I definitely played it safe with this highlighter but I think it still is really pretty okay let's see how our lashes are holding up are we ready to apply okay so these are very dramatic I don't know if I'm a fan Especially for like a day look. We'll see. Let's finish the rest of my face. So, next up is lipstick. So, I have two options. I have the new Bowman uh, times 
the L'Oreal Times Beman collection which has a real interesting bunch of colors I think that may be interesting to do but I also have this new collection from Clinique which is the new Marimekko for Clinique um, collaboration as well it's also collaboration I think I may save the Balmain lipsticks for, for a blog post so I'm gonna go for the nude sorry this is called Latte Pop I'm gonna go ahead straight away and see if I need a oh this is a glass it's not even a oh it's not even a matte okay that's a bit boring I don't think we're here for that uh, I think against the lippies but I thought it would be like matte so I'm gonna go ahead and use the new Smashbox always on liquid lipsticks they aren't really new but they have new shades so I'm gonna go in with the shade called psychic medium and this is a brown lip liner I mean look at lipstick I love the applicator I don't think I've used these lipsticks before I've only ever gone as far as swatching them it's definitely that like muddy brown liquid lipstick I think I'm gonna change my eyelashes um, something about it something about it is just a bit draggish it's not the look I'm going for today I'm just gonna pop these off what do you guys think of this lipstick I feel like I'm not vibing with the brown it's settled into a very like muddy brown which I don't think is flattering on me These lashes are so bomb. All right, so lips. Oh, I don't know what to do with my lips. I'm gonna just use my normal, I'm gonna do my normal combination. I'm going with my Ofra liquid lipstick in Sao Paulo. I'm gonna go over with that with my Bobbi Brown lip gloss in No Good. Okay, to finish off the look, I'm gonna spritz my face with the Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray, which I don't believe I've used before on my channel. I think this came out sometime last year. Awesome guys, that's it. That's the end of this face, full face of first impressions. I hope you enjoyed this video. I loved this oil stick. I think it's so cool. I've had this in my cupboard for a while and I never reached for it because I needed like an excuse to do it. And I remembered this today, so I'm so glad I did. And I used it with the Smashbox shaping uh, foundation which is the launch I think a lot of us are excited about but I really love the concept of having your foundation in one end and your contour in one way and it makes this so useful for travel so I can really appreciate that I loved this to blend out my contour uh, granted I haven't done a cream contour in quite a while so um, I had to get used to blending that out again and um, I think it was great this Glam Glow Water Burst Moisturizer once again it feels like you're applying you're adding water to your skin but it is but it's your, your skin feels so hydrated once you have blended it out i mean blended it out once you have massaged it in and let that settle in so adding all of the primers on top of the clarence sos primer oh yes i love that so much gives you a beautiful iridescence which i think is so beautiful where is it this one here I love this um, I really am impressed with this um, I literally just love primers for a glow and like that like glowy sort of look so this this is obviously a favorite I didn't see this going wrong either way the MAC highlighters um, 
very subtle, very natural. I went the safe route and opted for like the darkest one, which is called Rosy Cheer, which is this one on the end here. There are these two here, which I'm yet to try, um, but they do appear to be quite champagne-y. Um, but I think this one here is more of a golden tone and the one in the middle is more like a champagne color. So I'll play around with this palette and give you guys um, feedback on the other shades as well. But I think they are all beautiful. Anyway, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll check you guys next time. Bye.